So we, we have this last one example. This is example four, uh, chapter six. Uh, this example is on compaction specification. And for this example, so we are given uh, compaction test results. So this is compaction test from the lab. And then we are also given these five field unit weights. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So these are basically in situ or field unit weight from sand cone tests. So we're given directly these uh, field test results. Okay. And so we're basically asked to, okay. And we're given specifications. So first your gamma D field must be at least 95% of gamma D max. So this is the first specification. And also the moisture content should be within plus minus 2% of the optimum moisture content. Okay. So we have these two requirements and I'm going to determine if these five locations meet uh, these two requirements. Okay. And for this example, so given first, given this sand cone method, um, the first you can calculate in situ dry unit weight. We're going to use kilonewton per meter cube. Uh, meter cube. Oh yeah. And to calculate this again, this gamma D field is um, gamma moist field over one plus moisture content. Okay. And then gamma moist field is density times gravitational acceleration. We just did this for the first example. So this is in kilogram per meter cube. Okay. So again, we just did this calculation for the first example I showed today. So given moisture density, you can calculate the in-situ dry unit weight. I'm going to write this result here. So that's, this is basically rho m. So again, this is basically example one we did today. So that's the dry unit weight from sand cone methods. And then we're going to determine if these five numbers meet these two specifications. Okay. So they need to be 95% of gamma D max and also within that uh, moisture content range. And to do that, so this slide here shows the compaction curve. So this is a compaction curve. So this compaction curve is from your lab proctor test. And that's basically based on these two columns of data. So that's lab compaction test. And also I included on this plot, this slide, this is zero air weight line. I put this one here also because uh, as we uh, mentioned last time, this, all the compaction curves should lie to the left of this uh, zero air void line. So that's a theoretical maximum for dry unit weight. Okay. That means your in situ data should also plot below this as well. And then so we're going to actually first get these two numbers, gamma D max and the optimum moisture content. Okay. So these two numbers are, and then the optimum moisture content 16.8. Once you get these two, the first specification calls for a relative compaction of 95%. Okay, so 0.95 times gamma D max. So this line here, this is 0.95 gamma D max. Okay. So that's the first specification. This is 16.54. And the second specification calls for moisture content within plus minus 2% of the optimum moisture content. Okay. So if I mark these two plus two numbers, plus minus 2%, so this is 14.8. And this number here, this is 18.8. 
So that's the moisture content plus minus 2% of the optimum. Okay, so this is. And then based on the specifications, we need to meet both at the same time. So that means this shaded region, this shaded area is where your data should plot. So if your in-situ field unit weight fits within this range, they meet both criteria, they meet, meet both specifications. In this area, you meet both 95% or more gamma D, and you also meet the plus minus 2% of moisture content. Okay. And also notice there's an upper bound there that's bounded by the zero air void line. Okay. All right. So then the next thing, the final step is basically to plot all these five data points on this curve and see where they are. Okay. And so we have these five data. This slide basically shows where these five data points plot on this curve. And you can tell one, two, they meet the criteria. So they meet both specifications. In test number three, location number three, that's a borderline case. So it sits right on the boundary. In test number four, so this fourth point, this one is below 95% gamma D max. So it doesn't meet the first specification. Specifically gamma D field four is smaller than 95% gamma D max. So that's why it doesn't meet that specification. And then number five, okay, this is a special point. So number five actually plots above the zero error void line. So this is most likely an error. And plus, of course, it's uh, moisture content is uh, outside that optimum to minus, my, uh, plus minus 2%. Okay. So this is the uh, example for, for compaction. And that's the last example I want to go over in class.